I'm going to try my best not to make this like drawn out as much because this is for an episode, but each four episodes is 30 minutes long, but there's so much to talk about. So I'm going to just get into it. So let's start with episode one and two because they dropped on the same day. So episode one and two. So the premise of WandaVision, it's like it's like everybody keeps saying the Truman show this, the Truman show that. But I feel like this is one concept episode that everybody's missing. Well, not the concept from the show that everybody is missing is is a quality that they took from a movie called Pleasantville. If you haven't seen Pleasantville, I, I suggest y'all check it out. It's starring Toby Maguire. I uh, forgot everybody else in it, but it's like the only thing that they took is the black and white concept, and then and then from going from black and white, and then like color ch changing, and I swear to God, books was somewhat evil in there. I'm getting the whole premise of that movie wrong, but check that movie out. So each episode is like different eras, like so like. I guess like episode one and two, like they went from the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s, you know? And you can tell because by each episode, each intro was from like the 50s and then they went from the intros like the 60s. Like I felt like they was taking each intro from different shows or elements from different shows during those time and putting it into that show. That's what this whole show is. They're taking elements from movies and early shows back then and putting it into this show, which I think that's a cool concept to me. Episode one started out, you know, we we're being brought in into this world. It's like everything is so sitcom. They even had the audience laughter, the audience reaction. And I'm like, okay, I can get with this. Even the jokes that they made was like 50s, 60s jokes. Like it was so cheesy. Like it's it's cheesy and entertaining to watch. Like this is like you want to see where they're going with this. And I'm like, oh shit, all right. This is what we're in for. Cool. Last time we seen Vision was in um, Infinity War and he's, he got plucked. He's dead. Vision was gone. So it's like, I'm happy to see Vision because we didn't see Vision at all in Endgame. And now he's back in a whole sitcom doing his cheesy husband fit these jokes and stuff. And, and they got powers and they're the only ones who knows their powers. Episode one, Wanda and Vision had to host a dinner for Vision's boss at work. At first, they didn't know. They thought it was an anniversary. So they was like, okay, <laughs> something special. So imagine you setting up tonight to have a dinner with you and your wife, but the dinner is supposed to be for your boss and her wife. And now you got your wife popping out in lingerie saying, I'm ready with your boss and wife there. Like, that's weird. Episode two, Vision got... In a way, like Vision ate a piece of gum and the gum got stuck inside of Vision. So it's like Vision was drunk. And I'm like, oh, Vision could get drunk off of gum? That's okay. This is this is like 60s and 50s sitcom. So let the show go on, I guess. And sometimes we get we get pulled out of the sitcom. We get pulled back and we see like stuff happening from the outside world that's affecting the sitcom. But in some way, it gets reverted back when something goes wrong. Back it goes, it gets reverted back to the sitcom. Like so, now it, it as the audience, you're questioning who's really here controlling this. Like, is it Wanda? Is it Vision? Or maybe is it Ultron? So in episode three, this is the Pleasantville concept I was talking about. Like everything is back in color. You know, the episodes are changing. It's like so each episode is like each era. So now we're in the era of color. And, you know, I guess in the beginning of episode three, um, Wanda and Vision was getting busy. And towards the middle of the episode, Wanda is getting pregnant. And, and it's like all nine months is really coming fast because at the end of the episode, she's she's delivering twins. She's giving birth. She was a twin because her and Pietro was twins. And now she's having twins. And at the end of this episode, it's mind blowing because it's like crazy. Like you see what happens. You're like, whoa. Okay, uh, now it's turning up. Now in episode four, now we get to see what's going on in the outside world. Now episode four is more, even more of the Truman effect. Like we see who really is controlling this by the end of the episode. We get more questions about, you know, sword. Because in the previous episode, we get glimpse of, you know, images of, you know, the, the sword logo, like the sword organization. Like when I was reading the comic books or watching like any of the Marvel animated series, 
sword was like shield but sword was more of assholes like that's that was my take on it swords is more of dickheads by the end of the episode my theory is now we're gonna go back to the to the sitcoms because now we saw what's happening in the outside where maybe they might do you know a little back and forth you know what's going on in the outside what's going on in the sitcom we might see so that's my theory of what's going on i try to make it short i try to give all my thoughts and views from from all four episodes i hope this wasn't long um, stay tuned for you know future episodes and other reviews. So if you want to be great, like and subscribe to the Great Value Show.